everyone, it's Nick here. We're on the ZX Spectrum and we're loading up ATV Simulator on the 48K version, which stands for All Terrain Vehicle Simulator, published by Codemasters on, well, in 1987. Also come out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. But what I like most about this game is the actual sound. It's pretty good, actually. Now this game is rather rather tricky and this is only the second time I've played it, although I have watched it uh, years ago. It had to go down as a classic, but uh, as I say, I haven't really got the skills for this, so expect horribleness. But let's not put that against the game. Now essentially, it's a bit in the, um, the mode of Kickstart and Kickstart 2, which I've also reviewed by Mastertronic. But you control this Doom guy as I run towards my Doom buggy, and you must complete a course in the time limit before your fuel runs out. You see my speedometer on the uh, top left, we control that by going up and back on the joystick, or left and right. Sp uh, fire button makes you jump over obstacles, and it's all about judging the right speed. So I'm not doing too bad so far. Various levels start off in the dunes, then I think it's grass, then something else, which we'll hopefully we'll get to, but I can't guarantee it. Um, start, whoops, a daisy. <laughs> For starting the car up again, or the vehicle, it uses more fuel, so if you keep doing it too many times, then you're gonna run out. As I say, you'd have to go down as a classic. Doesn't look too much now. The character's rather see-through, but that's something I would have expected. So it's all about <laughs> it's all about learning the speed that you can go over. Now it is a two-player game, uh, which you can't play together. You have to take it in turns. Who does the best time? Infuriating this one, but also addictive. The engine sound isn't too bad. <laughs> this sorry, folks. This this bloke could end up a bit battered. I hope he's paid for his insurance. It attempts at a background, there's some sort of uh, treat. Oh, I've done it first time, well done me. 52.9 seconds, so it starts off easy if I can complete it. I haven't seen this on the Commodore 64 or the Astro CPC. I don't know how many levels there are on this, but I presume it gets gradually more and more difficult. Grass tracking, hooray! What could possibly, possibly go wrong? Here's my man here, jogging towards it. He gets in the car, now off we go. Now, by pulling back on the joystick, you can do wheelies, which is, oh my word, oops, it's, pr it's, pr it's, pr <laughs> it's pretty advisable, I was going to say, for I made myself almost wet myself over how bad I am at this. Now, how am I going to get out of this thing? Reverse up, lad. Now, you can turn around and go back in the opposite direction to get a run up, but uh, my man's truly stuck. I need, I need a jet booster to get out of this rubbish. Oh dear. Is this the worst gameplay of this game you've seen on YouTube? Let me know if it is, because if it is, I'm a very proud man. Come on, get over this dung heap. Accelerate, dude. Right, what speed do we go over this? I don't know. Is that good enough? Oops. Oh, 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 we got over that. That was good. That could have been a problem. Now, we don't want to go back that way. So, time's ticking away here. Um, we've got to do it within the minute. Or the, the minute that the spectrum counts up, which is not a, a true minute. Get up. Right, what? Well, uh, just jump over that, get in it. I don't know how far we're near the end here, we don't know. I've still got a lot of fuel. Speed is hopeless. Now, Kickstarts 2 is infuriating. This wasn't quite as infuriating as that, but it's quite close. Graphics are good as the car turns around. I'm stuck again. I'm going to run out of time. I'm going to run out of time. Oh, oh, right, time out. Well, I think, uh, I think we're going to have another go at this to see how well I do. I did have a cheap infinite fuel, but uh, that doesn't seem to be working. So we'll have another go, see if I can get off level 2. What are the chances, eh? Did you own this game? Let me know. I think when we get to the end of this review, I'll let this music run a bit, so you can listen to it a bit more without me jibber-jabbering over it. But funky, isn't it? I think it's by David Whittaker, who did a lot of the top music in these games. Codemasters, still going today, still going strong. So this is near the beginning, 1987, in the good old 80s. Were you born? Well, you might have been. I certainly was. Hooray! Yeah, I was well born then. Anyway, let's not let's not dwell on my age. Sand Juning. Right, I've done this first time. That sign looks like something out of the Flintstones. If we go forth from this canyon. Right, I should be expert at it now, shouldn't I? Look at that, I didn't come off once. Let's go over this thing. Boom. So we got good suspension. Do a wheelie. Yep, yep, no. Cool, a bit of hype there. This bloke's going to get fed up with me eventually. He looks a bit doomed. But I think this game got good reviews at the time, and so it should do. It's well presented. 
Uh, well, you'd be impressed with this as a kid, although, as I say, everything is a bit see-through. But that's what you'd expect, really. I don't know if this got recreated on his 6-bit, 16-bit system. If it did, let me know, because then I'll, uh, I'll try and track it down and have a go on it. In particular, the Commodore Amiga. Whee! Bomp. Is there any doctors in the house? I think I'm doing worse than last time. Get in the buggy. Spacebar, jump it. I'm not doing enough wheelies. That's my problem. So there is a tactic to this. I do love these fonts, which is player 1, 2 and the sand tuning. But as you can tell, it's trying to distract you, but it's not using much of the screen at all, is it? Just a thin postage stamp. If you're watching this on your phone, you're going to be struggling. I hope you don't get eye strained. And I've completed level 2. Or level 1, I mean. Let's not get carried away. Level 1 done. We're going to come up to level 2, but I'm sure I can do it. Trial number 2, grass tracking. Which I'm sure you remember from last time. Grass tracking, yeah. Start. Off we go. Come on, lad. No colour bleed in this because there isn't that much colour. Ingenious. Whoops, we, we got killed on that fence again. And we're stuck in the hole. Right, get in. Oh, God, now look. He can't get over the fence. Give me my June buggy back. Get in. Oh, it's hardly the stig, is it, from Top Gear? It's the, it's the stag. A drunk stag of that. Get. <laughs> Come on. I need a towel crane. Right, okay. No, oh. If I do it now, I'll be very surprised. Come on, lad. I don't know what this guy's name is. Dumbo, I think. It's not my fault. He's just a duff driver. Right, let's get over that. Good. That's good. That was good. Beat a bit of time. Let's power over here. Bunny hop. Yep, that's good. Oh, 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 oh. That's how you do it. Over here. No. Oh, dear. Why did that happen? I had a good bit of speed there. Now I've lost it all. You certainly need a good run up. 17 seconds. It's not looking great again. I think level level three is a bit out of touch, folks. I seem to be stuck on the railings. Come on! The time is seem to be sticking slower than it should normally do. Maybe we're in a black hole. Oh, is that the finish? It is. Boom! Expertly done, I reckon. I don't think you'll see anyone do better than that. So don't bother even trying checking. Just take my word for it. Boop. Trail number three: icebergs. Now, I think this is beyond my skill level. We're in the North Pole. We've got a white suit on. It's white background. There's three, I presume they're igloos. Let's do this thing. It's over the first bit. Okay. Whoop. Oh, dear. Oh, and it's fallen. We're on an iceberg. How do I get in? Oops, now I'm down the hole. Right. Hang on a minute. How am I getting back in my car? Hey, how do I get back up there? I think we've discovered a bug, have we? As this could be the end of the goal, I'm going to use all 30 seconds trying to get back in. Can't go outside. Maybe a polar bear can chuck me in. I'm not sure what that is in the background, that black rectangular thing. Maybe it's a submarine. Right, I'm in. Go! How do I get over this stuff? Oh, look, now I'm stuck. This is doom. Doomsday. Um, I'm not overly... Uh, you might think differently, but I'm not overly convinced I can do this. Yeah. Have you ever had a game? I suppose he's on a quad bike, isn't he? Or a dune buggy. I've never owned one of those. Have you ever had an amazing accident on a dune buggy? If you have, let me know. It's something of interest, isn't it? I know Ozzy Osbourne has had a bit of a mess on one of those. I've never, I've never been on one. Certainly not on icebergs, and not this bad. It's going to be game over soon, isn't it? This bloke's slipping over like a wally. Time out. Yes. Oh well, I, show, I showed you three stages and we're on the high score chart, so I can't I'd argue with that. Nice bit of yellow on red. Nice font for ZX Spectrum, they thought about that, haven't gone with their normal fonts. Good. Yeah, music by David Whitaker, I thought so. Published by Codemasters. I'm going to let you listen to a bit of the music here. Dance if you want. Yes, well, I think you've heard uh, enough of that. 
Hope you liked having a look at that one. That was ATV Simulator on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Codemasters in 1987. Thanks for watching that one as always. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, please remember to rate, comment and subscribe. Until next time, take care and goodbye. Goodbye.